Hi, Mary Beth here. I wanted to take a moment and go through with you how you can edit um, information on your account and navigate your back office, which is your online account. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to mydoterra.com, okay? And it will bring you to a screen that looks like this one. And notice over here, it will say, please sign in, or first time here, please register. Now, if you're a member of my network, I've already registered you. So all you'll need to do is type in your account number and your password and hit submit. Once you log into your account, you'll see a little pop-up. The pop-up will ask um, how you want to proceed. It's just a shortcut way of um, having a fast navigation if you know exactly what you're going in to do. So the first option will be to edit an existing LRP order, which is a loyalty rewards uh, program auto ship order. If you have one of those set up, it will show it right here and all you have to do is click on that little button and it will take you right into your order and you can start editing it and getting it ready for what you want to purchase this month. If you don't have an LRP or you would like to create an additional one, you can click on the purple button to create a new LRP or loyalty rewards program order. If you're not on LRP or don't know what LRP is and you just want to place a standard order, you can click the blue button here and proceed with a standard order. Okay, So it's a quick way to go directly to what you want to go to. I'm actually going to X out of this little pop-up and show you um, how to do it from your shop tab, which is the tab that you start in anytime you log into your account. Okay, From your shop tab, over here on the right-hand side, you'll see a box that says edit a scheduled um, LRP order. So for those of you who have an LRP, Again, you just click on that LRP uh, grayish silver button here. So I'm going to show you. Click that, and it will take you into your current LRP order. Okay. Now, if this is what you want, that's great. You can just hit Save Changes. Um, if you're editing it for the first time, then this is probably items that you received the previous month. And if you don't want to be shipped the same month or the same products that you got last month, then you're going to want to edit it. And it's really quick and easy to edit it. All you do is use the X's to delete off the items um, that you don't want on this current month's order. And then you can add new items. Now to add new items, there's two ways. One, you can type into this quick add to cart, this little search bar up here. So let's pretend we want lavender. I would just type, start typing in lavender. And as I type in lavender, you'll see a pop down. And you can just click it from there, and it will add it straight to your cart. If you're not 100% sure on what you would like to purchase, and you'd like to go shopping a little bit, you have the option to continue shopping. That's down here in the left-hand corner. So if you click on continue shopping, it takes you back to the shop tab. And notice it says over here in this purple box, you are now editing your LRP order. That's very important if you're on the LRP program because you want to make sure that your orders are all LRP so that you get all those wonderful benefits of um, getting your shipping reimbursed, accruing points, um, and all the good possibilities that come with LRP. Okay. So once you're editing this, you can now click on any of these buttons across the top. Or if you're a visual person, you can scroll down and it also shows you the categories here. Okay, so let's pretend we also want um, to purchase a wellness supplement. I'm going to go ahead and click on the wellness tab. And then again, you can use the pictures to go into the exact products that you want. Or if you know what you're looking for, so let's say I want um, Slim and Sassy uh, soft gels. Okay, I can go over here to where it says Slim and Sassy and just hit the plus sign and then go down until I see the Slim and Sassy soft gels. Once I click on it, it tells me a little bit about the product, and then I can add it to my cart. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Once I clicked it, notice there was a little pop down that said that's been added to your cart. So you get that um, confirmation that you actually have done what it is that you're trying to do. So that's nice. Um, let's pretend for now that that's all that I wanted. If I'm done shopping and I've added everything I want to my cart, I can go ahead and just click View Totals right here to see how much I've spent when tax and shipping are added on. Or if I want to see my entire cart, I can click Review Cart. When I click on Review Cart, I want to point out a few things. 
It will show you what your current payment method is at the top. It will show you the email address um, that you are going to get your confirmation sent to after this order processes. And it shows you the date in which this order is set to process. If at any time you would like to change this processing date, that's fine. But remember, orders that are placed on or before the 15th are eligible for the free product of the month. For those of you trying to hit a certain PV value of a certain order, maybe there's a current promotion and you're trying to make sure that your order totals a certain amount of PV, there is a column here in your cart that says PV and down at the bottom in green, it shows you the um, current PV amount of the order you're working on. So if you need to add more, add more. If you need to take some away, take some away. That's a good way to see what's going on, okay? And then also, <clears throat> it shows you uh, the dollar amount of your current order. Again, you can hit view totals off to the side here, and it will show you after tax and shipping what your order uh, total is going to come to. The other thing I want to highlight while I'm here in your cart is down here at the bottom there's a check that says this is for personal consumption. If you do not intend to um, resell the oils that you're buying, they're just oils that you're going to use for you and your family and your home, you want to go ahead and check that box. By checking that box, when it calculates your tax, it will tax you based on the wholesale amount rather than the retail cost. So it's a little bit cheaper for you if you're not uh, planning to resell your oils. Okay. Now, notice here, my order is not set to process until the 13th of next month. And so I don't want to process this order now. I'd rather wait until next month. So down at the bottom, I have the option to save my changes or I have the option to continue. I don't want to continue and place this order right now. So I'll just hit save changes. Anytime you're editing your LRP, always be sure to save your changes. Otherwise, it won't save your changes and you'll be sent the same thing that you received last month. I do want to show you, um, for those of you who are earning LRP points, notice it says my remaining rewards points. And right now I currently have 64.85. Okay. To uh, redeem those points, all you do is you look at this column that says use points. And if you have enough points to pay for one of the items in your cart, there'll be a drop down box. And you can select that item and say, yes, I would like to use my points to pay for that item. Now, when you do that, um, it will take that item's PV value off of your total PV value of your order. So again, if you're trying to maintain a certain PV value, you'll want to cash in your points above that total rather than taking away from the total um, points of your order. Does that make sense? So if you're trying to maintain a 100 PV order and you have 50 points you want to cash in, I would place a 150 PV order and then use your points to pay for 50 of them. That way you still have a 100 PV order in your cart. Okay. If you have questions about that, feel free to contact me. The other thing about cashing in points is there is a $3 fee for every 100 points cashed in. So it's to your advantage to save up those points and cash in a bunch at once rather than cashing in um, points for like $10 oils, okay, because you're not saving as much as you could. So um, again, if you hit view totals over here to the right, it will show you now that you have a point redemption fee of $3, okay. The other thing that you'll need to know is when you use your points, you have to process that order right away. So because this is an order that I would really like to place next month, I don't want to do that. I don't want to use my points now. So I'm going to go ahead and take off that on guard soft gels, which is the one that I chose to use my points on. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put it back on without using my points so that I can just save it till next month. Now next month, any time before the 13th, I can choose to go in and use my points to pay for that and go ahead and process it then. So again, down at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and just click save changes. Now, if you ever save an order that has less than 100 PV, um, you're not eligible for commissions. So for those of you who are building a business or you're sharing, you have people below you in your network, you want to make sure you maintain 100 PV um, on your LRP order so that you're eligible for commissions. So you can say, yes, I'll save my changes. I don't care that there's 100 PV in my cart. 
Or again, if you're building, like me, I want to make sure there is 100 PV in my cart. So I'm going to say, no, nope, I'll edit my cart. And I'm just going to stick something on here. I'm just going to stick frankincense on here. Because I know that has enough PV value to make my order over 100. So notice, now my, my overall PV for this order is 141.75. So that's enough for me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Save Changes. And notice up here in red, it will say, your changes have been saved. And now I'm just back to my shop tab. There's a few things that I wanted to show you as far as your account goes, okay? If you do not have an LRP order, right here in your scheduled LRP order box, there is an option to create a new one. You just cl uh, click the Create New LRP Order. You'll choose the date in which you want it to process, either this month or next. And then after you hit Next, then you'll just add items to your cart. Um, the way I showed you before and save it. Um, the other thing is for those of you who are not interested in LRP or not currently on LRP, if you want to place just a one-time standard order, you'll just click on this blue button. You'll still get your 25% discount. Um, you just won't be able to earn points and you won't get your shipping rewarded back to you in points. Okay, so there's a couple of other things I wanted to highlight. One is your dashboard tab right here at the top. If you click on dashboard, it will show you how many points you currently have. It will also show you the percentage that you are currently earning on your points. The other thing I wanted to highlight, the bottom right hand side, there is a link to doTERRAtools.com. And I'm going to go ahead and open that in a new tab so that I can show you a little bit about that. I love doTERRAtools.com because it is a great asset to have when you're communicating with your doctor about the products um, and supplements and oils that you want to incorporate into your life. So let's say you want to start taking uh, Mitamax. So I'm going to start typing in Mitamax and notice there's a drop down. If I click on that particular supplement, it tells me a little bit about it, tells me how many capsules are in it, and then down below it has a product information page. This is what I use to communicate with my physicians and doctors and healthcare providers. If you click on that product information page, it shows you everything you need to know about that product. It's all listed right there for you. And usually the supplement facts is at the very, very end. This is a really um, good tool to go in and see what, pro what the products have in them and if it's something that would work um, for you on your health journey. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and go back to our online office. Um, again, I'm still on that dashboard tab. The next thing I want to show you is this My Website tab. If you click on the My Website tab, it will show you that every member has their own website that they can potentially share with interested people who want to learn more about doTERRA and the oils and the products. Now, it's currently set at mydoterra.com forward slash your first name and then your last name. You do have the option to enter um, whatever you want to come after that forward slash. Or you can default to where you can just use your IPC number or your member ID number after that forward slash. Okay. The reason that this is really nice is if someone is interested and you give them your website, they can buy at retail cost directly from your website. If you don't um, feel comfortable ordering for people who are just wanting to kind of dabble to see if they like it, this is a really good um, option to just say, well here, let me give you um, a link to a website and you can order whatever products you'd like to see if you, you know, would like to learn more and that type of thing. What I want to show you is where you can edit your password, your email, and any of your personal information. So up here at the top of the page, notice you have these little words kind of floating at the top that say home, wellness advocate services, my online store, and my office settings. So under my office settings, there's an option for password. This is where you'll change your password. You'll type your old one in once, and you'll type whatever you want your new password to be twice. I do encourage you to change your password because a lot of times when we sign people up, we put just a default password for you but we wouldn't want anybody to be able to get into other people's accounts um, by knowing that default password. You can change your password to whatever you would like, and that's where you do it. This is also where you can edit your personal information. So if you relocate, if you um, 
have changed your email address, anything like that, this is where you would do that. Okay. The last thing I want to show you is when you first log in or anytime you're on the shop tab, notice there is a banner up here um, next to your LRP orders that tells you about the current promotions. And there's usually three, four, five different things up here. So I always encourage you when you first log into your office, maybe you haven't looked at our monthly email that we've sent out, make sure that you look at um, these banners to see what the current promotions are because it might affect what you want to order. I so look forward to helping you on your oil journey and hope that this helps you manage your account and get started with that much uh, greater ease. Have a great day.